Hi, I'm going to take you through the inflation and setup of your HEST sleep system. So when you receive your HEST sleep system, it comes in a carry bag with the pump included. Uh, to start the process, we're going to unclip the bag, unfold that. You have instructions right here. You also have the pump in its pump sleeve. So I'm going to take the pump out and remove that. Set that to the side. Uh, I'm going to open up the shroud on the bag, which then allows me to access the mattress. So the mattress is in a compression harness that keeps it rolled up by unclipping that. You then allow the mattress to unroll. Next step is to inflate the base and the drop stitch of the uh, sleep system. So the Valve has a protective cover that you remove by turning counterclockwise. You then access the valve. So the valve has a yellow head on the top. By turning the valve clockwise and depressing it, that opens the valve. By turning it counterclockwise, that then lets the valve rise up and close. So we want the valve closed so it holds air. We then want to set up our pump. So the pump comes with the tube. We are going to install the tube on the outside. So that is going to uh, inflate with the air coming out of the pump. I also like there's a plug here that you can go from high volume to high pressure. We're going to go with the high volume option of attaching the plug. So now we're going to insert the pump tube into the valve, turn it clockwise until it locks, and now you're all set to inflate. I'm going to time this just for awareness on how long it takes to inflate to stand up the, the base of the sleep system. I tend to inflate it to 7 psi. Uh, you can inflate it, inflate it all the way up to 20 psi, uh, and you can fine tune your balance between rigidity uh, and softness. All right, so that's now at seven PSI. That was 45 seconds. I am going to remove the tube by turning it counterclockwise. And I'm going to replace the valve cap by inserting that and turning it uh, clockwise. So now you have your stable, rigid, waterproof base uh, on the bottom, and then you have your foam on the top. The bag is attached, uh, and that just allows it to stay with the sleep system if you're using it in a tent and don't want to lose the bag. Uh, it also is possible to remove the bag if you don't want it. So by taking off the Velcro on the harness, and removing it from the strap on the base, you now can remove the bag and just have a sleep system uh, like this for a great night's sleep. Now I'm going to take you through the deflation and storage of the Hess sleep system. So we'll start by taking the air out of the base, remove the protective cap, and that'll access the valve. So the yellow head on the valve, by depressing and turning it clockwise, You'll open the valve and let the air out. By leaving in that, in that open position, we'll now let the air escape uh, and we'll attach the bag if you removed that. The bag attaches with the two Velcro straps feeding through the drop stitch straps on the base. And now attach the harness so it's easy to clip it together once you rolled it up. You usually let the straps go off to the side so they're ready to go when you've rolled up your sleep system. And now a lot of the air has already gone out of the base through the foam pushing on it, but we're going to use the pump to take the last bit of air out. So turn the valve counterclockwise, that brings the head up and locks your valve. And then we're going to install the tube on the inside of the pump. 
And so that is going to pull air into the pump and create a vacuum that allows you to take the rest of this air out. So again, touch the tube until it locks. All right, so that has now removed all of the air from the base. We're going to remove the tube. And since the valve is locked, it won't allow air back in, and it has a nice flat base now. Attach the protective cover, and we're going to start the roll-up process. So it's good to start with a nice tight roll, and then we're going to go slowly and roll the rest of the mattress up. Uh, I like to put my hands on both sides. I put my knee in the middle to just kind of put some extra weight behind the process. And because the foam is open cell, we've actually got air in the foam, so we're just taking our time to make sure all the air is getting pushed out. You can see the foam cover actually filling up as that air is escaping out of the foam and also out of the foam cover because it's breathable that way. So now we grab the compression straps on the harness, tighten those to hold the roll in its place. And then we can now roll the mattress the rest of the way into the bag. The bag is big enough and it's designed so that it can take a larger roll. Um, it just depends how tightly you roll up your mattress, but this shroud allows that to adjust. Now we're going to insert the pump. So I usually put the feet like this so that they roll into the mattress, and tuck up nicely. And then we'll put the tube I usually detach it, it just makes it a little more compact. Now that's in the pump sleeve. This cover again will allow, with its design of the courier bag design, will allow you to cover a larger roll. I usually fold the, fold the, uh, fold it up when it's a smaller roll. And clip that, and now you have your Hess sleep system uh, ready to take home with you.